We're so 2018. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time and stuff like that. Well, look, I've got the software update, and it looks like it's probably going to be version 42.2. So here I am on my app. I'm going to try it out for the first time on my app because, you know, now we can do it uh, in the comfort of your own home where it's nice and warm or cool or wherever you are. And uh, you don't have to go to the car, especially if it's like 4 o'clock in the morning or something like that you get the update. Not that I do that. I actually have done it but uh, let's give it a try so as, as you can see at the top right after the phone key connected there it says uh, software update so we're going to click on that it says approximately time to it says approximate time to install about 45 minutes click on that now it says just telling you it's going to take 45 minutes and uh, you can't use the vehicle or you can't use the touch screen um, and if you have a lot it will be uh, disarmed uh, for a short duration okay so let's install click on install And now it's doing it. It says software update at the top here, right uh, where my mileage is. It says it's going to um, start and it's counting down from two minutes. Now, as far as I know, I can't double tap or triple tap that to make it go down any. So I think we're just going to have to wait, let it count down the whole way. And uh, we'll fast forward all this. One minute left. Okay, we have 15 seconds left. Now I know why they gave you the ability to uh, triple tap it in the car and uh, skip the two minutes because if you're like me, you have no patience and you don't want it to wait. By the way, you can cancel the update at any time. It says cancel update. You can cl click that and you can cancel. But here we go. Software update starting. And I think it's going to be boring. I'm not going to keep a whole 45 minute video going uh, just to show you that. It says software update in progress. It just switched to that. Uh, you know what? We're going to come back and see what happens in about, it says 45 minutes, but from other people I've seen online, it usually goes around 20, 25 minutes. So we'll come back in that time. Okay, and it's finished. And uh, it just goes off and reboots and you lose connection and then it finishes. And then if you come down here, it says version 2018.42.2. So this is the newest version, folks, and it's uh, updated. And I keep charging. So we're going to go to the car and check out what the uh, changes are. You know what? We're going to go to, to the car tomorrow. It's too late for me. We're going to go to the car tomorrow and uh, take a look at it. Just let the car charge overnight. Which will be in a few hours for me, but for you watching this, it'll be approximately two seconds from now. Okay, folks, it's the next day and coming down here and looking at the um, release notes. The car it has updated and this is what's new for the uh, release notes. Obviously, the keys here, as you can see... Uh, a key fob is available, and I really hope we don't have to purchase it. Like, I mean, yeah, if you want multiple ones, I get it. But to just get one, it should be included, especially for the Canadians, because if it's true that the only thing that's holding back the summon feature is the key fob, because the Transport Canada's rules or whatever, then they really should at least give us one, just so, you know, we can get the summon feature working. Uh, anyways, that's enough of my rant for that. Uh, regenerative braking, uh, it's supposed to be stronger. From all accounts, from what I've heard from people, it is stronger. And then uh, that's basically it. And then uh, probably some, whatchamacallit, some uh, behind the scene bug fixes, like hopefully the autopilot works a little bit better and stuff like that. Uh, just little, little minor tweaks are here or there would be great. Hopefully this little puppy here, I'm talking about that, that's more stable and it doesn't get corrupted as easily. and you don't have to keep, uh, you know, taking your uh, USB stick in and out and reformatting it after a few days. So we'll monitor that and see how that goes. And uh, did it just blink there or is it just me? We'll monitor that. It might just be me. Anyways, folks, that is the latest update, 42.2. I'm not going to get into the whole update itself of 42.2. What I wanted to do in this video really was just to show you that is how you update with the new version of the um, mobile app, how you can update software from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to uh, go to the car like you used to. We're so 2018. 
Anyways, folks, that's it for me. That's all I got today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking your time. I really appreciate it. I know I, know I don't I haven't said it in the past before many times, but I appreciate you uh, clicking on that button and taking some time to just watch the video. You know, I know everyone's days and, and lives are very, very busy. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to stop and watch. If you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And you know what? Hit that little bell too so you get notified. Uh, everyone says to hit the bell. I, I don't really tell people to. But, you know, hit that bell because then you'll get notified when the next video comes up. Until the next one, folks, have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.